right way to spell journeys? That's terrible. <laughs> Maybe E Y N. E Y N. Yeah, just E Y N. Why didn't they do that? Because it's a screwy language you're spelling. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but yeah. absolutely absurd. Yeah. What is it? N E Y N? Say it! How does the Y sound? Yes. <laughs> Journey, yes. Makes it long. But you already have a long E without a Y, but you don't need a Y to get a long E. You got a short E without a Y. Well, do you ever have a long E without a Y? I'm sure there is somewhere. Is there any long E's in English without a Y? With two E's. Two E's. Question? Yeah. So what should we do? Should we take the highest of the lowest elements and see if we can find the parallel highest of the highest elements? Well, we have elements of the highest Yeah, already. Uh -huh. And we have a pretty much complete picture of the lowest. Is that the highest of the highest, the elements we have? Well, it's the highest of the highest that he's given, he gives us. Because yeah. if we have the complete at the bottom, then we can find the That's highest right. of that. Yeah. And we have key, key concepts on the top. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so how they pair up with that. And therefore how they pair up would be yeah. working out these dynamics sure. in the relationship. So you could have two analogies then. Between them. Well you've got you've two got between. a copy of the copy, that's the lowest, right? <coughs> no. You need three levels. You're okay. driving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep going, because I'm not sure where you're going. Well, I was saying, Rod was mentioning about the highest, and then you said it's the highest that he gave us, mm -hmm. yet he's given us some concepts of the highest, so that must mean there's three levels. Yeah, it's R4. R4. Yeah. Or mean R, just a two extremes. Mm -hmm. Earth, 
and then we have therefore within we have uh, near surface and above above the surface. And then we have in the air itself. So what's really what's really kind of interesting in this thing is uh, this whole section. Right, this whole section is eschatology, isn't it? That's what they call it, eschatology. Study of the last days, study of what happens to the dust and the soul. So it's a story of heaven and hell. And the dynamics between them, isn't it? And key to the whole thing is the fact that this is a idea. Right? It's the result of your learning and your development. And if you make it to the highest level, you're continuing to learn. Right? The goal of life for Plato, if you can make it, you live the, the correct life, as the, as the soul takes off, right? it has a guardian. Guiding is an experience of understanding. He's still learning. Learning and understanding. It's also being called slow. <laughs> Doesn't it? Right? Agreed? Mm -hmm. Each is appropriate context, I think. Yeah. No, it's quite a So, this whole bag, this whole bag, this whole story in the Phaedo, the whole stuff, went into. Judaism and Christianity. Right? I mean, well, how so come they're so messed up? Well, look here. <laughs> okay, look here. Watch this. Now. Look here. Look here. Here's Judaism. Here's Judaism. It's proceeding, all right, through history, through time. I should use the word history. All right, proceeds through history. So that's Judaism? Yeah, this is Judaism. Stargate. Judaism, right? Judaism, Judaism. That's how you pronounce the A. Paul, how do you pronounce it? Judaism. Judah, Judah, not Jude. Yeah. I imagine it very easy. Yeah. Okay. Not the A. They just take the A's. It's coming off the Judah. Okay. Look, Judah. Judaism. Yeah. If 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 every if. If on an afternoon you have nothing else to do, and you want to read a book, read the Old Testament. Good afternoon. Right. Okay. And ask yourself, well, just one thing. When, when do you encounter this story? Such as in the Phaedo, heaven and hell and punishment and all that. Where do you get that? Yeah, I see it in Revelations. Yeah, you're yeah, in the wrong book. I'm talking book. about the Old Testament. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, Revelation. That hey, that's another. That's yeah. the morning. Right. That's not. <laughs> so look here. You see, it comes in at a special time, and for a hundred or a thousand years, it never was. 
this is really bad. This is the impact of Hellenism on Judaism. Huh. What but what's the difference? Pardon? I didn't get what that difference is. Oh, that's because I was going to wait until I could get some money for it. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody give me a I'm drawing a picture. No. Oh. If you give me a piece of paper. Gosh, Too much. How about How about I you? But I bet he'll tell us anyway. Don't throw coins on the folding <laughs> money. He doesn't want to get hurt. And look here. What's the difference? Come on, you do it. What's the difference? This whole thing went into, went into Daniel. It went into the apocalyptic writers. But it changed. One thing changed. What changed? All right. What governs this education. Hades, Hades, heaven and hell? Education. No, no. In the in the, in the Judeo Christian world. Grace. All they made is one change. Satan. Mm -hmm. Close. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's under the vengeful see, God or see there, are fun, there are fundamental things in a system which if they give up, they give up the system. All right? There's several. All right? One of them, one of them is key. Like there's no Judaism unless you have the idea of chosen people. That's a fundamental. All right? Chosen. Special. Agree? Oh, is that part of their system? Mm -hmm. That's essential. They be chosen. There's several parts. Right. Are they chosen beforehand, or are they chosen for some... Uh, God's plan. God's plan. So it's God's plan. God's so it's against God's, God's grace. Huh? Or you can be comforted. Oh, comforted. Yeah, either or. Either. Right. The next principle is, all right, which follows from that. Limit allowances. Should have a checkbook. Yeah. What follows with that is the Torah, the laws, the laws. That's the standard for right and wrong, good and evil. Show, right? Being a being looked upon. Do they also have to say why? No. 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 Yeah, wrong. no. I mean, they have the laws, but they don't understand them. Is that what you're getting to, Carol? I mean, like there's yeah. six, there's six hundred and thirty like, laws. Okay, and now they don't know. There are the Ten <laughs> Commandments, right? But in numbers, there's six hundred and thirteen personal laws. Things that you have to do. So it's governing your own everyday life. Right. Right? And that about cover everything. Yeah. Okay. Now, I believe in which is lit. Look here. <laughs> Try this now. You'll wash the left hand away. You'll have an easy solution to this problem. What would happen to this system if it was introduced and accepted and told them? Everybody did it. I don't know. Well, the the system? If when this was introduced mm -hmm. into the Near East, and if then the people at that time were to accept what we're talking about now, the model and the Theta completely, what would be the implications on the system as we've grown it up right now? No chosen people. No chosen people. What? What? No chosen people. Why? Because of education, if education and learning is is the, that by which you progress, well, there could be an elite. then anyone could, and it wouldn't. It, we wouldn't have to be chosen to do it, and being chosen wouldn't help you. It could be an elite self chosen. All right, one. Go ahead. Take the next one. Well, wait. Can you convert? Yes, you can convert. Well, there's no yeah. chosen. It's it's possible to be elected. Without following the law. It can be elected. Just the law. It can be elected. It doesn't possible to chosen. be just without following the law. It doesn't fit. How can you be a chosen? How can you elect to be a chosen person? Election to yourself. Well, more well, recent. Self-election. Sure. No, you, you can adopt. You, 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 you can adopt to be one of the one. You but can. Then, then, yes, then, you then the chosen class yourself. is not finite. Oh no, it has its problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has its problems. It has its problems. But okay, look here. 
What did they then do? What would be the impact on them? Harvard? Mm, if of, they embraced it in total, what would happen? I haven't seen any further. I was just thinking of the point that was just made about the, the, just, the concept of justice, and I was trying to see how that would fit if, uh, if Peter was brought into this system. Well, then all the laws would fall. Who's adopting what? Mm -hmm. Because, well, I was just... I was, You just abandoned the show. What a pronouncement! Well, Bill, did you notice that? She did. I just said she's read her six Yeah, she just said it, and then she backed out. Just. Back right out of it. She said all the laws would fall, and then from there on, fall. she backed out of it. All I did is ask her to say it again. <laughs> she, she sank the ship. <laughs> Look, but we'll make believe we didn't notice it because we don't want to embarrass her. <laughs> no. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Huh? What do you say, Barbara? Well, it's the impact of this, the entry of the Fidos into the Middle East. If all of this were yeah. accepted. All of that were accepted. Right. Okay. Without change. Mm -hmm. Well, then, it seemed all the laws would, would fall would be, because they wouldn't be valid. Um, any longer if given a system where individuals journey on different levels and develop from step to step. So therefore they keep they keep it. Uh-huh. They keep it. And and the laws and the chosen people and oh, then their whole identity would fall. Right. So, it, so far as it's based upon those. So therefore, how do they assimilate it? By preserving these two things? You can only go up into these higher regions. If you are, if you are chosen, chosen or a believer, mm, Calvin. and follow. That's them. right. And the reasons you go up or down, Would follow the law. Be following the law. Right. Mm. Right. Therefore, it becomes God as a bookkeeper watching you and checking off the goods and evils. <laughs> yeah. Right. He's the great bookkeeper columns. in the house. The, only <laughs> way the first computer was God's memory. No. The only way you can be uh, good and have a good life is if you're chosen. And so uh, the only way you can follow the 615 laws is this, if you've been chosen. So in order to show that you have been chosen, you try as hard as you can to follow the 615 laws. <laughs> yeah, you try to fake them out, right? In that, you try to fake them out. Right? Based on the yeah. logical principle. Whether, how, how, good you, how good you are at memorization. Yeah, yeah that if you can solve the, follow the 615 laws, you got to be chosen. Yeah, so, well, another thing happened at the same time, by the way. Uh, the impact of this, as we were playing with the other night, <coughs> see, this is rationalism. This is mm -hmm. rational. This is saying, hey, you know what? You go up or down depending upon what you understand. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's a high priority on paideia. Mm -hmm. Learning, paideia, right? Learning, higher learning and development and understanding. That's the key. What's this, oh, what's this Judaism? Mudra yoga? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it changed. It changed at this point. Yeah, but I mean, following the line, there's, there's no understanding. It's a basic difference. Except for one thing. So then in Alexandria, a whole bunch of the boys over there got together, and they said, let us understand the laws in terms of a rational structure. And therefore, they started trying to find... Interpretation sometimes. That's right. Sure. Then they went for the game of... And that became the rabbinical school. That the rabbis were those people who could interpret the law by trying to provide a rational structure for it. And that's their job. So the system that they're using to interpret it yeah. is more significant the, than the, the element. They're trying to interpret, yeah. Right? And that's how <laughs> yeah. Judaism yeah. became Hellenized. Don't tell me the answer. What's the question yeah. to which this is the answer? Yeah. Yeah. But didn't that, but the, well, don't we have <laughs> Hellenism crossing? You know, we discussed about uh, Kashmir Shaivism and some possibilities yeah. there. W would uh, Hellenism have crossed something like Hinduism or uh, some uh, 
some religion of, of India to come up with the Kashmir Shaivism. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, it would have crossed several yeah. of the yeah. religions. But they could leapfrog. Taxila was one of the, the key ports of, of the Hellenistic system. After Alexander the Great, from then on, there were Greeks in Taxila, which is up near Kashmir. Forty miles away from this Taxila is where they found the so-called found the Kashmir Shiva's and texts, philosophical texts. Mm -hmm. Carefully preserved, by the way, under a rock. Oh. And therefore, they knew God looked at them. <laughs> I said, I always knew that. Every time you look up a rock to find something worthwhile, you know, God looked at them. That's the real touchstone, right? Yeah. Well, they had a problem. You know, how did something absolutely new come, in, come into their culture? I think it's a. Uh, well, that's the way the Mormons handled it. Some kind of bronze tablets were found under a rock. Yeah, yeah, Adam Smith. Huh? What was the guy's name? I went in South huh? America. They found them. Or they that was came Oklahoma. South. <laughs> I don't know how it worked. In South America was it? Seemed, Seemed like they were. They they came from there or something. Well, you know, like Moses tablets, they came out of up there. You know, <laughs> that was a little tricky too. You know. Good. I, <laughs> I mean, you hold it while I hit it. Guys, <laughs> 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 Okay. All right. That was a very digression. But you know, that's that's interesting. What happens is, in order to preserve, like you can integrate anything into your system, so long as it doesn't challenge the uniqueness of the system. <laughs> And whatever you introduce into the system, you'll modify or preserve that uniqueness. So whatever the strains or the strands of the system that are unique to it, it's only it's the system so long as they continue. Any number of things can go in and out through history. But those, the particular strains have to be there. Some, by the way, die out. And then the system is modified to that degree. <coughs> Which is what we were talking about. Okay. Good. Um, well, you know, the, but the Jewish, uh, their system has really got a firm hold because the Messiah is supposed to come from the lineage of David, and as long until the Messiah comes, they're the chosen people. From what I understand. Yeah. And therefore, they're always going to be the chosen people until, till the end of time, so called, till the Messiah comes. And that's why they haven't accepted Jesus as the Messiah, because then it would be all over, right? I think that's pretty much that's the problem. I'm mm -hmm. expecting a letter from Uncle Henry. <laughs> <laughs> the, point, the point where rationalism and Judaism come together, the impact of those two cultures, right? Okay. Has that been continued through time? <clears throat> yes, I do, I do think so. Through, uh, Rabbinical. Yeah, the rabbinical tradition. Yeah. We're talking about a, a rational understanding of this. Yeah. So therefore, we're, we're saying that this can be understood rationally. That's the with 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 these two things being kept. That Which the laws are interpreted rationally. There's another strain in there. Which is history. Mm -hmm. Some evolutionary effects then. No, but the wisdom tradition. But it, uh, after what happened in Jerusalem, you know, the Jews no longer consider consider history a significant part of their system. You know, from that point on, they just suffered history. They didn't uh, guide their lives in terms of it. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a case where a part of it split off, and that's what that's what became Christianity. The people that preserved that were the Christians, and that becomes Christianity. They pick up a very they pick up the variation of 
They have a variation of the chosen people. They're now chosen. Right? They now have a variation of the laws, Ten Commandments. And therefore, they branch off Christianity with elements that Judaism gave up at this point. So that's a reaction to Hellenism. So if we want to now push this, right, we're just working out an analogy, an extended analogy on it, going back, if I can get us back. Might be fun to show that. Yeah. Oh, I might, I might do Daniel. I might do Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel is leaving the mind. Right? He provided the theology of history for the Jews, which the Christians then took over as the apocalyptic vision. The Jews gave it up. The Christians continued. Daniel was the man. Mm -hmm. So then, um, we can go back. What? We do the whole talk? Yeah. You read the Gita. But I'll tell you what, before we go into it, let's agree that we have to be cautious about the circumcision at the end of the class. Ah, uh, watch it. Yes. <laughs> Twice is too much. Still the glass. Ah, you gotta follow wherever it goes. Yeah, that's where you gotta risk it. No, I read about it. I mean, yeah. I follow it. You know. Yeah, we did. Doug and Moose Brad must have heard that way. Very good job. Doug and Moose. All right, is this the way you read it? And, uh, all right, there are four levels. You might get a fifth, but it depends upon how you read one of them. Uh, it should work backwards. Too. Robes of the gods and dialogues of the gods, right? Communion with the gods. Huh. What's that, Brent? Well, there's that level, too. There's the Grove, the Inlander, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's right. With the dialogue with the gods. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Communion. Let's call that the pure state. Right? <coughs> we got the blessed states, too. Right. Yeah. If that's from above the earth. That's in. That'd be within, though, wouldn't it? Well, so where is that? No. Within, I'm saying, within the image of within is within the earth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's in the sea, right? Oh, that's in the waters. Yeah. waters. yeah, right, the channels and all right. okay. the lakes. And right. The and see, these journeys, right, these journeys are through channels. Right? And you become like the territory or like the areas that you, you uh, journey through. Right? It has an effect. That's what he says, doesn't it? So in the same way since you're there for That's a blessed vision up there. that as well. Conditions for each. Of the channels or, or uh, highways as it were.
see from this model um, what's significant about this model among, among the interesting things is certainly what role does he give for C, level C? C with level C. That's just a glimpse. That's a glimpse. Right? Frogs? That's a glimpse, isn't it? Frogs yes. around the pond, is it? Or the fish sticking their heads up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Level C permits a passage to A, B, or D. Hmm. So that's the human condition. That's the human condition. Yeah. Coming up above the surface, huh? So, yeah. See. Right. That's that's that possibility exists in level C. In level D, the best you can do is get to C. You can't get to A or B. Right. You have to await rebirth to get into C. You can't go. Right. Level D right, permits a reincarnation or a rebirth in C only. Right? So he's got a very interesting model. Uh, and for some, and for some, no rebirth. Mm -hmm. Is that Tataris? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in heaven like that, too? No, the rest of your life. Yeah. Nobody back down. That's a blessed vision. The basis for this analogy is 111a.
saw that. <coughs> then this whole thing becomes a charm. Right? The whole thing becomes a charm. And he ought to repeat such things to himself as if they were magic charms, which is the reason why I have lengthened out the story so long. So this is a charm for level C. Cut out the relevant sections. Right? No, just the relevant oh. sections so far. Paste them in, as it were, restructure the work. Mm -hmm. right? Then we'll have gaps. And then by analogical thinking, we'll plug in the gaps. Well, we have a computer, you don't need to cut your book out. <laughs> but when you can't work a computer, you need to cut your book out. No, you need to learn how. Uh -huh. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> Cut and paste, huh? Yeah, this is the cut and paste job. That's right. Xeroxes yeah. are great. It's <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's go then to tell me where 114C. All right, the last two lines, last two sentences. On page 391. All right, where shall we place in our structure? Which one here, the last? Yeah, the 391. But those two lines up, three lines up from the top. Three lines down from the top. See? But those who are found to have excelled in holy living are freed from these regions within the earth and are, and are released as from prisons. They mount upward into their pure abode and dwell upon the earth. And of these, all who have duly purified themselves by philosophy live henceforth all together without bodies and pass to still more beautiful abodes, which is not easy to describe. There would go um, physical resurrection. That's, that's possible. Yeah. yeah. We live all together without body and yeah. physical resurrection. But, so we shouldn't accept that part. So that's that's that me. Physical, that physical resurrection is one of the threads right, that runs through. Mm -hmm. And when Judaism Judaism and Christianity, they gave birth to Islam, 
one of the major threads that comes down into this is that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The resurrection? Of the physical body. Mm -hmm. Physical body. Yeah. Yeah. And if they were, they would therefore have a problem with this line. About have a line with it. How about this one? Living. Yeah, I'm taking this as just one part of that. Yeah. One yeah. small part. That's the problem with it. You can uh, move all together without bodies. Yeah. Uh, with, with, uh, physical aspect. Is up on the earth the same as above the surface? Well, that question is the question that goes back to the pure earth. You know? mm -hmm. No. It's pure bone as well as the earth. Okay. Essentially, we just begin here. That's not the surface. It's going to be the middle of the water. <laughs> so, the real heaven, mm. the real heaven is the real earth. the real life in 110A. But going back into those two sentences on page 391, of those who are in the pure abode, of these, <coughs> There's still a plot, there's still a higher realm, isn't there? Mm -hmm. And that's why I said when we started that. Is it five or is it six? <clears throat> you know, the actual number. Uh, certainly B is there. A might be a, a may, might be this higher realm, pure philosophy. In any case, that's the way I. Um, now let me give you a curious problem. Right. Okay. If you go along <coughs> with this, I need one quote. That I'd like to find in here about what are the consequences of the soul going through each, any one of these regions. Uh, That's right. Uh, I just had that. 109 something now? Yeah, probably. I'd like it to be there. Which one the nature of the earth through which they flow? Yeah, where is it? 383. So, so 112. Right. Six. <clears throat> one yeah. Uh, and one of the chestnuts of the earth is greater than the rest, and is bored right through the whole earth. This is the one which Homer means when he says, far off the lowest abyss beneath the earth, in which elsewhere he and many other poets have called Tartarus. For all the rivers flow together into this chasm and flow out of it again, and they have each the nature of the earth through which they flow. And the reason why all the streams flow in and out here is that this liquid matter has no bottom or form foundation. What? 
Okay. Let's take this as a principle. Each, each of the channels, uh, generalizing, each of the channels each of the channels you see because would you not agree the soul as it goes through the rivers is carried along it's carried along it's carried along and then there are critical moments where there's a chance where you can go up into another lake or into another river. But essentially, you're carried along. So, each of these channels or rivers has the nature of the earth through which they flow. All right, generalize them. All right. Each of the channels has the nature, has the nature of the substance through which they flow. Agree? Just generalizing it for a moment. All right. Then look here. Then would you not agree, as a beautiful example that he gives here, later, is that he tells us that there is also realms where air functions in a similar way. Do you have that? Yeah. Go ahead, read. So it oscillates and waves up and down? And the, yes. air, and the air and the wind about it do the same? Yeah, he also talks about pure, oh. pure air, too, where, where there is this dynamic that takes place. I think it's a 111 somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And there are many animals upon it, and men oh, also, and some dwelling in land, others on the coast of, coast of the air. As we dwell about the sea, yeah. Oh yeah. Others on islands which the air flows around near the mainland, right? Right? Yeah, Therefore, I never understand that. Same thing is happening at a higher level. That's right. Same thing is happening. All right. Same thing is happening at a higher level. So what, said the great Chinese sage? All right, Mulliker. What is the... What is the... What is the... Uh, particular important dynamic that controls level C, and therefore also higher regions. Learning and understanding. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Therefore, these higher regions, you're carried along. This could now be air, could it not? That quote 111A. So correspondingly, you had moved from understanding to histamine, phrenesis, sophia. Mm. So that, say, each of the channels has the nature of the substance through which they flow. Therefore, the higher realms must be nothing other than these then are gradations of intelligence. Right? Gradations of intelligence, highest down to the ignorance. So you got the divided line. You got the divided line. <laughs> Son of a gun, sneaked it in on us. <laughs> Guy's sneaky. No? As Paul often says. Right. Guy is sneaky. If that's true, then <clears throat> we should see that dynamic 
functioning, he should give us hints of that level DNA, should he not? Is that what we get as we move in 111B to C? And they have sacred groves and temples of the gods in which the gods really dwell. And they have intercourse with the gods by speech and prophecies and visions. So the higher level, the uh, greater the impact of the intelligibility. This would be a prophecy? of God? This speech, I guess it would, would it fall in those classes? Well, it's not a power that you would receive from dwelling in that class. Mm. That's Mante, right? Manteus? Mm -hmm. From the Phaedrus. Right? Yeah, from the Phaedrus. Four kinds of prophets. Right. It's a different sense of prophecy than, than Christian Hebraic tradition. Like that's being there. Yeah. If you're in, in all time, <laughs> you're experiencing it if you're in all time. You're a witness to it. What do you say then, shall we? Uh, when he had finished speaking, Peter said, Well, Socrates, do you wish to leave any directions with us about your children or anything else? Anything we can do to serve you? Well, I always say, Peter, nothing. Uh, take care of yourselves, you'll serve me in mind of yourself, whatever you do. Even if you make no promises now. If you neglect yourselves and are not willing to live following step by step, as it were, in the path marked out by our present and past discussions, you will accomplish nothing. No matter how much, how eagerly you promise at present. I would certainly try hard to uh, do as you say, but how shall we bury you? However you please, you can touch me. <laughs> and I do not get away from him. I cannot persuade Crito, my friends, that uh, the Socrates who is now conversing and arranging the details of his argument is really I. He thinks I am the, the one who will presently see as a corpse. And he asks, how to bury me? And though I have been saying great length but after I drink the poison, I shall no longer be with you, but shall go away to the joys of the blessed. You know, uh, he seems to think that, that was idle talk, uttered to encourage you and myself. <coughs> so give security for me to plead on the opposite, that which he gave the judges in my trial. For he gave security that I would remain, but you must give security that I shall not remain on I die. Way, so that Creo may bear it more easily <clears throat> and may not be troubled when he sees my body being burnt or buried as I think I am undergoing terrible treatment. I may not say at the funeral that he is laying out Socrates or following him to the grave or burying him. My dear Creo, <laughs> you may be sure that such wrong words <clears throat> are not only undesirable in themselves, but they affect the soul of evil. <clears throat> 
I must be a good courage, he said, if he's fair. Mm -hmm. I buy him, bury it as you think best, and it seems most fair. Mm -hmm. So, shall we offer up the same riddle that often comes at this time? Right well, on the end of the dialogue? Where's Michael? <laughs> where's Michael? Right. It's a good riddle. It's a great problem in the Phaedo that now comes up. Then we were ashamed and controlled our tears. He walked about and he said his legs were heavy. <laughs> this Lay down on his back, for such was the advice of the attendant. The man who administered the poison laid his hands on him and after a while examined his feet and legs, then pinched his foot hard and asked if he felt it. No. Then after that, his thighs passing upwards. In this way, he showed that he was growing cold and rigid. And again he touched him and said that when it reached his heart, it had begun. But Jill had now reached the region above the groin, uncovering his face, which had been covered. He said, and these were his last words, Credo, we owe a cock to Aesculapius. Pay it and do not neglect it. What does that mean? That's the old question. Why we? Not I. Some translations have I. It's weird. That shall be done. See if you have anything else to say to this question. He made no reply, and after a little while, while he moved, the attendant uncovered him. His eyes were fixed. And Crito, when he saw it, closed his mouth and eyes. Such was the end, Equites, of our friend. He was, as we may say, of all those of his time, whom we have known, the best, wisest, most righteous man. Why the we? And why must Credo be the one to pay it? Mark, that was the question you had to answer before you could go into the banquets. <laughs> That's all you mean? What? He means it's the two of them? I mean, I thought. We have to be part of the You're supposed to answer it, not ask. <laughs> Tomorrow, all right? <laughs> Over coffee? Uh -huh. All right. Which dialogue are we going next? Or what do you want to read next? Lovers? Hmm? <laughs> Proclus or? Why don't we give this decision to Jim? She's a good decision, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pick something appropriate for Tuesday night, not Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So. Mm -hmm. You want to share the burden? Gorgias has the 
Well, you can put, say, you can put here also, you can put like yet all the together, maybe composite, and you can put the phagris in there too. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the higher region. So. Why would you do it? Because we have people working on it. Oh, who have promised to give us a report. I forgot all about that. Who? Well, she can leave. Well, she can leave in the school. That's good. I mean, right now. Okay, just does it tonight. Sure, why not? She's been in for a long time. Yeah. Pierre can tell you. Why don't we cover our bases and tackle the ages after we get back? What's it again? The what? The ages of what? The ages. The oh. Ages. Don't know. Okay, the accent coming through. <laughs> like a little Oklahoma twang of Plato's. <laughs> <laughs> Spit out the seeds like you're trying to give a discourse when you're reading watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can do the laws. Never did the laws. We can do the laws. We tried to one time with that call and kind of ooh, I was always that is You were in the line of the country. Yeah, I got that. Um, yeah. Did I have some people? I'm platonic. Hey, book, book five. The yeah, match. that's a need. Want to leave it? No. Come on. Okay. Uh, great. I'm, go, I'm just going through it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's to leave it with the part going back. And well, we've seen mind. parts I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind. I'm not rushing through. I mean, it's not going to give us any good for the heavens. <laughs> I wouldn't no, either. Sir, you know, not me. Not me. Well, I may be next in line. Okay. <laughs> you well, then, so you don't have to worry about it. Why would volunteer you right away? And then you don't have to worry about it. Maybe happen. I'm doing you a kindness <laughs> run. Take from the jury. Step up. Well, well let me see this thing first. Uh -huh. I have a few tears. Thank you for reminding me. There's somebody working on it. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he has agreed to answer any questions at any time dealing with the Theotetus, as Carol said she would do with it. That's great. That's you know, just get some authorities around. Pardon? The hearing is the first thing to call on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Well, we have that uh, pseudodionysis Parmenides riff on the board. Oh, we have some ones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that part of me out there. Yeah, we were following that, weren't we? Well, that's what you'd say. Yeah, you know, yeah, the next, yeah, yeah, the next trip was, uh, are, are you Jenny? Yeah. We do Damascus. Yeah, I'd like to do Damascus. He's the fun. toughest cookie of them all. Is that right? Oh, he's, he's really something. I mean, we 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 ran up against them once. Want to go back and do Damascus? Yeah. The last of the Platonists. Yeah. We all the golden that, chain. We have that West Drink translation. Is that yeah. any good? <laughs> we got into a scramble there with his models right at the beginning. I remember. Oh boy. There's the one in many and <laughs> many and one. Remember the ineffable? Yeah. Might be worth picking up. Well, it's only said to be the most challenging way. That's all. Apart from that, there's yeah, nothing to worry about. There's a certain sparseness about it, doesn't it? Yeah, no. The long bone. I can get uh, 
rather inexpensive copies of Al Ghazali's criticism of, uh, uh, of philosophy. Uh, which is a major work. It's, it's the one that put an end to philosophy and, and the, uh, Middle East. Uh, it doesn't sound like an interesting thing, but it, it, it's the cap on on the study of it's looking back at, at the golden age of Islamic philosophy. Ibn, Ibn Sina and al Farabi. And um, this book is, I, it, it comes from, from Pakistan. It's been translated into English. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, and if there's any charge, Steve would be one of the sure. Uh, right? Of course. Because it, it fits into that kind of ongoing history of the impact of uh, 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 Helen. Okay, then. What else is around here? I mean, it's a real small What else is there? <laughs> well, Bonda Carica event? No, it was not. I would really like to do the symposium. Would help me the most because of putting, trying to put together a screenplay for Rhonda's relatives. Well, for Rhonda's relatives. You won the Academy Award. And if we can put a screenplay together, Rhonda is going to be a good idea. Yeah, it is, huh? Yeah. Rhonda's going to take a screenplay, everybody. Oh, you've got your thing. That's what I'm saying. Doing it would help. Immensely. Sorry, what do you think? Where are you at? I don't know. I mean, in terms of where you, you know, reading it, you and Rod of and where you're going, what would be the most challenging work from your mutual viewpoint? Rod, I need a mutual viewpoint. No, 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 come on. <laughs> I mean, any study you're going into over there at ICU? Oh, at ICU? I'm into lyric poets and juvenile. And I don't see anything juvenile. particularly rewarding in those at this well, point. I, 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 I don't agree. So I wouldn't, uh, don't no. really have anything to recommend for me. I've been delinquent with my duty. Hmm? Hmm? I've been We've only done it three times. <laughs> we could make a jump and do Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. You're a Donald Bruno? Yeah. Yeah. Well, who's the next in the line in the, the, the chain you were following? Pardon? Weren't you at one point following out a, a chain of Platonism through yeah. history? Where did you stop? And who's next in line? Damascus. Damascus. Well, oh, I think I'm going to Damascus? Yeah. The last one. I'll see the next one that you guys were. Well, we, yeah, well, the one we were heading for was Dun Scotus, or, or you know, mm -hmm. uh, Divisions of Nature. Mm -hmm. That's the influence of pseudo Dionysus right. on uh, the Carolinian. Right. 
he woke them up. And then they shot him. They burned all his books. John Scotus? And try to wipe out what he said. Did you say Dewey Scotus or John Scotus? John Scotus. John Scotus. John Scotus, yeah. Scotty, actually. Scotty. Scotty. The original. It's the same name. As Dewey Scotus? Yeah, that's the same name. Scotty means Irish. Where Eugenia is from the genus from Ire. Yeah. They're both they're both saying Irish. Oh. Mm -hmm. John the Irish Irish. Yeah, John the Irish Irish. Irish, Irish. Well, we should, Bush we Mills, should do, right? We should do <laughs> 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 There was a distinction oh, yeah. between this guy and uh, Dune Scotus. Scotus. Yeah, I know, I know. I thought there was. I thought he said Dune Scotus here at Gigi. I said, Phil, they don't go together. <laughs> Well, yeah. how about copies of Damascus? Do you think we can get them? Well, uh, Ron has one, Jean has one, Barbara has one, you <coughs> have one. Barbara, do you have one? Ken has one. I oh, Jenny, so. do you have one? I know about one. Do you have the Academy idea? Do you ever get a copy of it? Do you have it in the house? I can't get my hands on it right now. The Dialogic Academy? Yeah. Do you have it? Yeah. Carol was asking about it, and I have a perfectly good filing system. I just okay, can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, think about it. I mean, everything is there. You know, all I need to do is have a system. Kind of like keys. Where it is. <laughs> it's yeah. like my keys. I know where they are. I mean, they're, they're exactly where they should be. Exactly where they are. I just have to figure out where that thought is. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't freak you out. I didn't lose. My keys aren't lost. The price you are. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> My keys are probably in a very good place, enjoying themselves out there in the sunshine. I just can't figure out where the hell that spot is. <laughs> For the price of the Xerox. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. I think if it's the one you're talking about, Dialogic Academy, yeah. couple pages, not too yeah, long. Yeah, the one we sent to yeah, Coastal. I sent to Coastal. Oh, that one. Oh, that's another one. No, that's I think a, I might have that one, too. Oh, okay. Whatever you got. I have to look. Oh, <laughs> listen, what do I got? <laughs> you did the Xerox place. <laughs> I went there this morning, and they were closed. It's supposed to open at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Something after 8. Is Barbara checking for Damascus? I guess so. If Bruno, you should really read uh, Nicholas's Cousin. But to read Bruno, what are we going to read? The Expulsion of the Triumphant Beast? Yeah! He had a All those great titles. Great titles. Oh, no, I'd, I'd rather go to the Meister Eckhart first, yeah. after that, and then Nicholas Cruz. Meister Eckhart. Yeah. He was, he was interesting. He sure was. Yeah. How about uh, St. John Cross, Dark Night of Souls? No, I can't dig it. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> it's 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 dark night into. How about Saint? Oh, what's your face? No. Saint Teresa. Saint Teresa. Oh, your castle. <laughs> Saint Teresa of the Hills. No, you do Okay. Let's see. Have them down second. Because you're still, we're yeah, not, that's a third. not Damascus, we're not going to do that. Barbara's going to take a look and see what it's It's doing. still out of the show. Still out of the show. They're still presenting the menu. <laughs> Certain things are for five. Let's see. How about some citizens? Okay, you know what? What do you want to do? Good idea. Want to do the, well, we never did the spot, but. No, we never did the spot. Mm -hmm. How about some new phenomena? Yeah, I got the idea the other night when I was up there. Looking at those books, it didn't matter which one of those ones by Milton under I picked, I figured it would be all the same kind of stuff. And I picked a simple one. Uh, I am there. Quite a few differences. How many have copies of the Spawn of Group? I'd like to get out of this at all. What is it? There. They're available right down here in the bookstore. Where? Mm -hmm. And the Costa Mesa. Okay. Yeah, they'll have the Thursday night probably. They'll probably be oh, selling there at the Marriott. Yeah, right. I'll bet they'll set up. All right. Why don't we do that? The what? Spawn the Marriott. Do you spawn in this? 
Well, well let's take a look at their... Uh, you risk going back in once more and for a third time. Mm -hmm. With that one. We never took that, did we? Huh? Well, you kind of laid out the principle, so, you know, the fundamental current loons are just... Oh. Robbing <laughs> 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 universe. Oh. And if, yeah, once more for the third time, we'll be right back there again. Who is he going to watch? That's right. <coughs> you see it? You see it? I see it. How about any of the coin shots? Any of those could you get fun? The spot is what? Well, How about that one sutra we were going to get to and never got to? Remember the sutra of all sutras, the one that, that we didn't know who delivered it from? Sound like... The one I looked for at the Bodhi Tree. Haven't talked sutra? Yeah, it's out. I got a copy. Why would we do that? It's not really called the Avatam no, Saka. They call it the Flower Jewel Flower Garden. Oh, the Flower Garden? Yeah. Flower Garden. Isn't that big? 30 bucks. 30 bucks? 30 bucks? It's that thick for a suit? That thick. That's, like, yeah. that's a third of it, though. No, that's three volumes. This is only one volume. First volume. That's a lot of rules. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's a big, long story. Well, tell you what, if you guys want, I'll, I'll Xerox out a couple of good hunks. And we can do that next. Yeah, well, this, yeah let's take some good. hunks. Yeah. You know, in the meantime, let's get something provisional. Then no yeah, hunks at all. Back there. <laughs> She's still milling around. Yeah. She's milling around? Yeah. Are you looking for that, Barbara? Yeah. It's in a yellow manila folder, I believe, I met the copies I made. Mm -hmm. in yellow over. manila folder at the time, I think. It's what she your found keys. Well, you guys are now talking about, what, three different things? Yeah. yeah. And poor Barbara's looking for one of the three, yeah. and you haven't made any sense. But we got actually about 20 on the table here. Yeah, Tinus cool. is. What Tinus is? Yeah, that's it. Yellow folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it. Pass it. Look here. Why don't we get someone to read a couple of lines and sure. see how straightforward it is? Yes. Sandy. Oh, it's. Fred. Oops. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your picture I while really you read, Sandy. All this has taught me is humility. And there's a great <laughs> Are we to say that the one principle of all things is beyond the all? Or is some one of the all and, as it were, a summit of the things proceeding from it? And shall we say that all things are with it, or posterior to it, and derived from it? If indeed anyone were to assert this, how could anything be outside the all? Yeah, first hypothesis. Well, that from which nothing is absent is clearly all. But the principle is absent, because it's <laughs> not one of the things derived from it. <laughs> they must follow, therefore, that all things yeah, are not only posterior is the principle, yeah, but the standard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the yeah. Parmenides. That's Parmenides. This is, here. This is Parmenides. Where we're talking. That's Plotinus. That's Plotinus. Yeah, yeah really. Is. She's got over at Plotinus. I was just reading that same argument, you know, this week. You know, that the principle is outside the class. You know, it can't be one of the all if it's the cause of the all. Really, it's a lovely discussion. How about this one? Moreover, the one and the united and the many and separated things which proceed from them are all. For the number of the separated elements is equal to that of the united from which it's separated and that of the many to that of the one from which the many are unfolded. It, it is, however, nonetheless one, but rather more so because the many are posterior to it and not in it, and nonetheless united because it is a contraction of the separated elements prior to their separation. Ah, huh. let's do it. Let's do it. That sounds like the, 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 the principle. principle. That sounds like the principle of participation, doesn't it? Oh, that's a, that's, 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 that's
That's exactly where that goes. That's what I'm doing. That's exactly where that goes. Next time you're at a party, just quote Damascus. Have you heard read recently Damascus? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you like to hear it once more and for the third time? That's great stuff. We can always do the uh, theology of Plato. Proclus is theology of Plato. Let's do that. Upon reading. Let's do that. It's only three volumes. It's only three volumes. Is it all translated? Yeah. <laughs> Thomas Taylor did the whole thing. Huh. That would be worthwhile. Theology of Plato. I hope it would be. Huh? I hope it would be worthwhile. It's long. That's terrible. Fine. Yeah. I would take a lot of reading. Well, now that we've decided, <laughs> <laughs> I know this we came to a conclusion. What? What is it? I don't know. I didn't know this we came to a like huh? The same way you look at your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look here, remember one principle we had, which we never followed, but it's about time we had voted. When in doubt, ask. No. Everybody come next Tuesday <laughs> with a book that you choose which you think we should use for the next series. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it. Whatever it is. What do you say? Okay. I did. Right. Good idea. That's good. Sure. And, wait a minute, some people too. He has, he has to bring a BAT. Because he obviously has to bring a BAT as well. And the favorites. Oh, Carol can't bring an ad copy. No, I can't. You have oh, her you copy, then you'll do the favorites. Oh, class. no, I won't. <laughs> Trying to give it back to me. I say, I don't know. We should also ask whether there's anything on, on the computer that could be used. Uh -huh. A couple of computer things. <laughs> 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 What's that? It's called um, the dialectic of the mode of rational therapy. Oh, well, that would work. Hmm. Only if Trina leaves it. She will. She will. You're good. Okay, I mean, bring, bring whatever the fact should show you. Okay? Yeah, we want to talk about this a little bit about Oh, yes. Oh. yes. Plans uh, for going up to the Baker.